Small Anama Shrine. However, some large riches picked apart the altar bit of stone by bit of stone. There's nothing left but gravel. Very peculiar behavior for these insects. Very odd indeed. Almost like they're intelligent. Lots of anomalous religious texts here. Then the roaches ate them all. Only a few intriguing frag fragments of parchment remain. Nothing that's particularly intriguing, it seems. I'll take that dried meat. Entry to the Contemplation Hall. Large, ornate chairs are positioned in front of broad windows. Through each one you can see a gorgeous panoramic view. Beautiful fountain bubbles in the corner. This room is created as a place for meditation and contemplation. No doubt, much thought on anomalous beliefs and precepts took place here. Till the roaches came. Despite its proximity to the foul, filth-spreading roaches, the waters of this fountain are still clean and crystal clear. Get them makes you feel very thirsty. Nope. It's evil water. Sure. Eh, too much as it goes down, you feel very refreshed. No doubt, Anama imbued the pool with some sort of healing energy. The fluid is purifying your system. Okay. Totally expect some sort of anti-mage trap in that, but doesn't seem to be the case. Doesn't look like I can get back there. All right, chickens, run free! Ogre. Ogres and bears stumps out of the woods ahead. They're too clumsy to set a good ambush, so they just charge. Oddly, it seems like the ogres are following the bears lead and not the other way around. Whoa, hey guys. of the bears. One of them is larger, uh, misshapen, and lumpy, and most interestingly has an unusually large skull. It may have been an intelligent bear. It was certainly a nasty and cunning enough. Sure. I just wanted to look at the lighthouse. Honestly. 
What this island needs is better sanitation practices. Meet the lighthouse keeper, a wiry, aging man with a misshapen face and a host of tiny scars on his hands and arms. He emits a loud, long belch and chuckles. Excuse me, I'm Garnack. Is this lighthouse your responsibility? Yep, I'd take care of South Point Lighthouse. Beats working. What do you need to do to maintain the lighthouse? It's a big fire upstairs. Throw a few sticks into it every day to maintain it. Ships don't flounder on the rocks, I get fed. It's a living. You like working as a keeper? Guns. Eh, I wouldn't be out here were it not for a few, well, indiscretions in my past. Can't do the old business, but the new business has its points. What are those? He says enigmatically. The old skills are still active, if that's what you mean. I know you wouldn't have come out here if you weren't interested in some trading. And he belches enigmatically. How do you belch enigmatically? Don't know what pincers and tongs are good for. But clearly he is a thief of some variety. And he also buys stuff. buy this plate mail and these razor discs and this bread and these mushrooms just wanted to look around Yeah. Give this book a quick look. It's called The Care and Maintenance of a Proper Empire Lighthouse. It's pretty dusty. <laughs> this room is originally used for. It's been converted into a workshop dedicated to the care and crafting of crystals. Tiny flecks of quartz dust hurt the inside of your nose. Hi. Elsbeth. You, the thing you notice most about this woman are her fingers. They're extremely long and nimble. They move the crystal she is handling with perfect precision. I'm Elspeth. Welcome to my little shop. The crystals on the counter all around her. It's an odd place to have a shop. We don't get vi I don't get visitors too often, but it's safe and quiet. You rarely have any trouble. What sort of trouble have you had? Oh, I lost one of my crystals. Not one I'd made. A rare and powerful one. I was studying it. I would gladly give a set of my finest crystals to whoever returned it to me. Who do you think stole it? Sadly, I think it was Nikaros. He runs North Point Lighthouse. He visited us, and I noticed the crystal was gone only after his departure. Saddens me. He's an odd fellow. I didn't think he was a thief. How is he odd? He's a necromancer! He reanimates the dead and uses them as servants. Working in and out of the way of a place like a lighthouse is a perfect... Uh, for one with his unusual interests. Okay. Let's have the necromancer over for tea. It'll be splendid. Uh, what do you got? Piercing crystals are really expensive. Uh. Uh. Deliveries? Okay. Who wants to fight a bunch of zombies? Not me in particular.
Top of the lighthouse tower, a fire burns on the charred stone floor in the middle. It's clearly a magical fire. A small amount of wood in the bonfire is bustling with a far brighter light than you would expect. Very interesting. Boy, that's a tough job. Throw a couple of sticks into a magical fire. Every day. I guess it does limit your travel options, though, because you got to be there to do it. What I'm curious about is what those animals are about, if anything. Gray mold! Healing herbs. Well, let's go to the freaking lighthouse, I guess. Honestly, I can't remember where the, that seer was. I think I've got a little time. And also, I'm not really sure where I should be going next. Zombie storage. Skeleton storage. North Point Lighthouse. Skellingtons! The North Point Lighthouse is the sole bastion standing between ships that circle the Isle of Big Ale and the jagged rocks on the water to the north. However, something is not right. The place is the stink of death, and the eerie sounds of shuffling, scratching, and gurgling emerge from the stone shadowy halls. Part of the fact that the light above is going strong, you might think the everyone inside was dead. And you are not hostile, are you? Doesn't want to talk. There you are. Books on death and the undead, putrefaction, embalming processes, the treatment of viscera to prevent spoilage, and symmetry similar esoteric grizzly topics. Well... Just another skeleton wandering the halls. It's... Bones covered in tattered mage's robes, and you realize that it's a human who happens to be disturbingly pallid and thin. Nekaros, he says in a thin, reedy voice. I am Nekaros. Something like that. Are you in charge of this lighthouse? I maintain North Point Lighthouse. Gives me time to study my other pursuits. And I'm not going to do that voice. <laughs> uh, other pursuits? Uh, study of the beauty of death. That's a morbid subject. Teeth are exposed in a ghastly grin. I believe that, quite simply, death is just another phase of life. Thus, creating undead is the most humane thing you can do. I could think of more humane things, like leaving the dead dead. But wouldn't you rather have your existence continued in a rather more mundane way than having no existence at all? Creating undead gives people more life. It's a beautiful thing. Plus, they're so useful. How? He smiles. Not only the dead, quiet, patient company, but they're also good at simple household chores. E like what? You know, emptying trash, sweeping, that sort of thing. I'm sure that death can be very beautiful. All you need is a good attitude about housework. As long as you don't mind your zombies dropping off flesh as they go. Uh, we're looking for a missing crystal. It belongs to Elspeth. Looks nervous. Oh, I see. I'm sure I know nothing about it. Are you sure that you didn't take it? If there were any less experience, I would destroy you for your insolence. As it is, I will just say that one of my specters has been very secretive lately. If you could speak with it, it might be able to help you. <laughs> you just boot me out.
So, one of his ghosts. His ears are fed by kindling by animated skeletons. They stumble around the chamber, wandering randomly until the fire gets low, at which point one of them goes gets a stick to throw into the fire. It's an odd but efficient operation. He also totally threatened. I'm not sure I should take that lying down. One of his specters. So, specter, 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 specter. Someone outside the castle. Or the tower. Oh. You. Horrid specter. You see a horrid, shadowy specter lurking back in an isolated nook of the lighthouse. It's a you hungrily. You ask it its name? It says, I have no name any longer. I just am. Why are you here, specter? Waiting for my chance for vengeance. On who? The gross created me. He tried to bind me. I was too strong. Now I want revenge on all pathetic living things. Even us? Yes, like you! It hisses joyously, then attacks. Rude. Good dodging. Ta-da! Ooh, I don't think I want to give that away. To tell you the truth... I'm not sure any crystals she could provide me with would be equal to getting free skills. But let's save the game and see what kind of skill this gives. It might be a bad one. Call Spirit. That one was never very useful. Uh, I think I'll just give it up. Experience is better than that. going on in here? It's a Fletcher. Eh. Let's look around. I have missile weapons for sale. It's my life's work. The perfect thing for bringing down a monster at a safe distance. Getting old, I and I forget a lot, but I'll never forget how important a good arrow is. I forget a lot of things. I just forgot where I lived last week. Or should I someone... I forget who. Went to me where I should go. I think I ended up in the wrong place, but I'm not sure. I didn't know any of the people there, but they seemed very nice, so maybe I know them and just forgot them. Who knows? Missiles are quite important to you, then. To the exclusion of all else, I'm afraid, as I fill my mind with knowledge of arrows and bolts and such, other things keep getting crowded out. You don't even have steel arrows. Taylor, huh? Meh. It's like a little trading village. Got for the rows of wheat mushrooms. There's a shrine. Provisioner. Townsman, townsman. I don't trust random houses that invite me to sleep in them. I've learned my lesson. 